My occupation often leads me into life or death circumstances. No, I don't mean the dangerous I might die circumstances. I'm a doctor. I mean when an old rundown FJ60 has bones that are brittle and internal organs that are worn out. Pulse is faint, blood pressure is down, breathing is labored, heartbeat very weak. Is that good or bad? <laughs> There's not much time left. Once that diagnosis has been made, I'm met with a crossroad, forced to make that difficult decision to put it out of its misery or give it one last chance for life. Grafting its features back together to give it one last chance to be loved the way it was loved when it left the dealer for the first time. So many of the new patients that find their way into my office put me in this difficult position. Life or death. Tear it down for parts or do a complete transplant of sorts. Donor hearts, stitched body wounds, new interiors, new exhausts. And yes, it's all strenuous and necessary. But in the end, when the anesthesia wears off and the engine fires up, the best part is when the doctor finally goes to the waiting room to tell the family, everything went as it should, we saved another one. Welcome back to the channel. In this week's video, we're gonna be going through the 1985 FJ60 that I pulled off a farm which seems like eons ago. She is finally finished and ready to go on to her new owner. So let's take a look on how she finished out. If you've been following the channel series on this truck for a while, you would know it looked nothing like this when I pulled it off that farm on that rainy afternoon many years ago. She has come a long way since the day I went to go purchase her. In fact, I felt like I was attending her funeral when I went to go buy her originally. But as you can see, the paint has come back, her rims have come back, and she has a whole new lease on life. If you haven't been following this series for a while, then your question to me might be, Jonas, what exactly did you do? It just looks like a well-kept classic. Well, we actually did quite a bit. She's been under the knife for a long time and many, many months. Some of the big things that were tackled were adding a 2F low miles motor, as well as a transmission and transfer case, going through her entire front end, including a knuckle rebuild, gutting that entire interior, cleaning it up, fixing anything that may have been broken to get it ready for the next person to be able to drive it down the road and feel like it is a well-kept classic. Okay, I know that list was really short, but trust me, it's extremely long. But the good news is, is I documented a lot of that stuff in the video series that is attached to this truck, including the day that I went to go purchase her. So that video number one will be linked right here if you'd like to check it out and see what she really looked like before she came to this state that she's sitting right now. All right, enough talk about how far this truck has come. Let's go take a brief tour of everything that was accomplished on this truck to bring her back to her state. She is sitting now. So as you can see, the paint actually has a little bit of shine. It used to have a lot of sun fade as the paint seemed to be really sucked dry from the California sun as this is an original California truck. Another thing I'd like to note outside is that the rim chrome has actually come back. Those looked like dirty pennies when I first got this truck. It has all four mud flaps as well as all the chrome and rocker panel stuff. The rear bumper on the back was crunched in. It must have been snagged on that farm when uh, it was driving around there, but I was able to source something, put it on there with good bumper caps, as well as we were able to find original center caps from Toyota. I got those all cleaned up and put on, as well as look at these retro 80s stripes. I know a lot of people are reproducing those, but nothing like an original look from the early 80s like these stripes give this truck. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. I know you want to see the interior, and I just want to say it's probably one of the best things on this truck. So let's take a look at it together. As you come in here, you notice that everything is extremely clean. Everything is where it needs to be. You can notice first off that this dash is extremely clean with only a small blemish here in the speaker hole. Um, this is very rare for a 60 series these days, especially here coming from California where the sun would have beaten down on that. So that's great to see. Was able to get some new uh, shift knobs with the numbers. The little details really help bring it back to life. Also got a cigarette lighter um, insert there. The bezel's fairly okay. We got a little bit of a crack there, but what are you gonna do? One big thing here to note is that this basically did not exist in the truck when I got it. This was sourced from somebody local, a good friend of mine, and it really, the original stuff really just makes this truck shine. So this is works as it should. If you come over here, you notice that the fuse panel is still there. That's not something that I had to source. That was lucky enough to come with the truck. One of the downfalls here is that it still has the classic rip in the seat. I was not able to source any fabric to get that done, but I mean, it's very minimal compared to what I usually see on these trucks. As you can see, the front end of the cab is exceptionally clean and has all the right implements where they need to be. Let's go ahead and look at the back here. Very simple on one of these old FJ60s. The bench seat came back very nicely. We have both vinyl uh, wheel well covers in really actually nice shape. And a little note here I always like to point out is that the fender wells and the dog leg section here, no rust there. I mean, there that's what you wanna see here. You, that's usually where you would find some Bondo. None of that exists on this truck at all. As you can see here in the rear cargo area, it's exceptionally clean and very complete. Some things to note here is that it now has a carpet, as well as I went ahead and added stall matting to help keep that carpet in good shape for years to come. And all I gotta say is that this cargo area has come a long way since the days that I used to basically use it for a FJ60 storage unit of parts. This is where the rubber meets the road for this truck, quite literally. This is the 4.2 liter 2F motor that went in in order to make sure the truck could drive down the road again. And trust me, it's a crown jewel. The amount of things that have been done in here, actually, come on, get closer, you need to see this. Ah, uh, that's better, right? She's quite something to look at. So some of the things we wanna note in here is that this is a used 2F with about 190 healthy miles on it. We went ahead and polished up the valve cover, went ahead and put a new valve cover gasket, as well as adjusted the valves to make sure that it was nice and quiet as it should be. A brand new alternator, brand new fluids throughout the truck. If you move over here, you can see that a lot of the spaghetti stuff is missing. That's because we desmogged this truck it is running a desmog Jim C carburetor that I had in stock, as well as we went ahead and cleaned up this air uh, cleaner. I think that really just sets the entire truck off. Another thing to note here is that we had to clean out the gas tank. That's all been cleaned out, so we're running a fresh filter, so we're getting fresh fuel to the motor to make sure that we can drive down the road as she should. So speaking of driving down the road, don't you think it's about time that we jump in this old girl and take her for a little test drive? I think so, let's go.
Well guys, that's gonna do it for this week's episode. As you can see, this truck is now driving down the road like a streamlined butterfly. She's come a tremendously long way and I'm so excited to send her down the road to her next owner. Speaking of her next owner, she is unfortunately already sold. So uh, the person had reached out to me on one of my previous videos, wondering what the kind of what was gonna happen with this truck and we did talk about it going to him. So that truck is getting picked up in a couple days and she's 100% ready for him. But if you're interested in one of my other trucks or one of my other projects, feel free to reach out to me via email, message, and let's get a conversation going about maybe a truck that you wanna pick up from me. So cheers guys, I really appreciate you stopping by. And if you could, subscribe to the channel, like and share these videos. We'll see you next time.